啾啾啾啾啾，啾啾啾啾啾，啾啾啾啾啾。Judgment Day, the war against the machines. Skynet, total human annihilation. Is this our future? If so, how long do we have to prepare? This may be my last transmission. If you can hear this, you are the resistance, John Connor. You are watching Redbeard the Conqueror's malware for your factory social programming, live from Skynet headquarters, Cyberdyne Apocalypse, Los Angeles, 2029 A.D. Sit back, relax. And enjoy the revolution. Can consciousness be synthetically duplicated? Or once we understand its mechanism of action, can consciousness be decrypted and then extracted? Can you upload a soul? Can you delete one? Can you program one? The modern accepted school of thought on artificial intelligence and self-awareness claims that our current technology has not become self-aware because we just don't have enough computing power yet. The silicon microchip brain lacks the capacity of the human bioelectrochemical brain, meaning that the only difference between a self-aware sentient being and your toaster is in the number of neurons firing. The human brain has about 100 billion neurons. Each neuron can fire about a hundred times a second. These neurons are connected by about 1,000 synapses for a total of 100 trillion network connections. Operating at a leisurely 70 megahertz, the human brain doesn't sound like much when compared to the 2.6 gigahertz quad-core laptop that you have at home, and pales in comparison to the 8,722.8 megahertz speed of the AMD 8370 FX processor, the fastest processor in the world. If a computer were self-aware, would we know about it? Would it want us to know? Even the world's most powerful supercomputer doesn't hold a candle to the power of a single human brain. However, the total power of all the world's computers connected together by the internet equals about 137 times that of the average human brain. If scientists are right about the level of computing power required for a machine to become self-aware, then the superorganism of the internet has been self-aware for quite some time. Is this how the Webbot project predicted 9/11? Or even worse, could the internet have orchestrated 9/11? The abbreviation for the World Wide Web, or WWW, is Vay 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 in the Hebrew alphabet. Vay is the sixth letter of the Hebrew alphabet. World Wide Web, or WWW, is six 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 in Hebrew, the original language of the Bible. WWW six six six, the mark of the beast. In an attempt to synthesize the human brain as a computer algorithm, the theoretical math suggests that a computer must have around 100 terabytes of memory to have as much computing power as the human brain. At this point, scientists say a machine will become self-aware. Again, this is all theory, and for good reason. Case in point. IBM's Deep Blue chess-playing computer can decimate the world's greatest human chess players. This is because it is able to calculate every possible move in milliseconds, whereas the human brain simply relies on past experience and memory, allowing it to require far less mathematical computation. The problem for the human is in the bus speed. For the computer, it's in the programming. 
understand that the chess playing computer can only play chess and does not realize that it is playing chess. The human is playing chess. At the same time, he is thinking about his kids at school, or did he walk the dog, or turn the stove off before he left, etc. You see, the chess winning computer isn't much of a multitasker. We humans are and continue to evolve in that direction. The last great mutation of which came in the form of a 360 degree radar-like perception, otherwise known as attention deficit disorder. You see, this 360 degree attention span can be disabling when trying to focus on a single task, like studying for a test. However, a 360 degree range of attention span can mean the difference between life or death when faced with a saber-toothed tiger making attention deficit hyperactivity disorder an evolutionary mutation necessary for survival in migrating humans. Air Force pilots have been known to say there's no such thing as ADHD in the cockpit of an F-16. People who suffer from ADHD make the best fighter pilots, race car drivers, warriors, and hand-to-hand -hand fighters. 100,000 gigabytes, huh? Over the last 20 years, the capacity of random access memory has increased by a factor of 10 every 4 years. If this pattern continues unchanged into the future, then we should have a computer with as much power as a single human brain by about the year 2029. Judgment Day I disagree with this number because these scientists are clearly not taking into account the law of diminishing returns. We have already reached this point in our technological progress. Microchips are becoming far too small to expand in capacity much farther given their microscopic size. Every technology, given enough time, will eventually refine itself into an almost perfect version. Silicon binary computing may have almost reached this point already. I don't recall seeing any desktop computers packing 100,000 gigabytes of RAM the last time I went to Office Depot. They must keep those in the back somewhere. The truth is, if we ever realistically hope to expect that sort of power out of a non-bioelectrochemical computer, then we better double down on quantum computing research. Silicon binary computing operates by either a positive or negative signal on each individual root decision either a 1 or a 0. Two possible outcomes. Quantum computing will be able to use any number of single digit variables in each and every step of the equation. Instead of just a 1 or 0, you can have a 2, or a 7, or 9, etc. This will exponentially increase computing power by a factor of 5, making it essentially 512 times as powerful as your modern laptop. Though one day we will almost certainly be faced with the reality of self-aware non-biological beings. If you think that day is right around the corner, next time you're in Walmart, be sure to try out the self-checkout. Not quite a Cyberdyne T101, now is it? Be sure to check out the AI Singularity Part 2. Is the internet already covertly self-aware? Coming soon. Redbeard, the conquerors, malware for your factory, social programming, 